While the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act has made estate planning much easier for farm families, much easier with respect to avoiding federal estate tax, that is, but with the pending impact of inflation on the market, many are speculating over planning for the year ahead. Where Roger McGowan with the Bonchburn School of Law joins us now with a further look in today's Rural Money segment. And Roger, as always, thanks for your time here this morning. So how do you see inflation playing a role in our farm estate planning? Well, good to be with you, Janet. Uh, I think there really are two impacts. One is that there's going to be an increase in the basic exclusion amount from federal estate tax from the current level of $12 million and $60,000 for deaths in 22 to $12,920,000 for deaths in 2023. That's an $860,000 inflation increase in one year. Uh, when I first started practicing 30 years ago, the basic exclusion itself was only $600,000 and now we get an increase in one year more than what that was. Secondly, uh, inflation has an impact on land values and land values or land is typically the biggest asset in a farmer or rancher's estate and the one that where you have the most uh, wealth and uh, it's going to it's increased substantially if you take a 500 acre say Iowa farm at $15,000 an acre now that's seven and a half million you take a thousand acres you're at 15 million you're already over the exclusion for a single individual and it's also what retirement funds you have left uh, because the market has been down, are now worth less because of inflation. So there's a uh, there's a wealth impact and there's a financial impact. So what are the basic estate planning strategies for married couples, Roger? Well, most people, because that exclusion is so high, they won't have a federal estate tax problem. But some states do impose taxes at death. And so you have to watch for that because in those states, the exemption is usually not anywhere near the federal level. So, so pay attention to that. Also pay attention to the basics a will or a trust, making sure an on-farm heir gets control of the farm and the off-farm heirs get funds or an investment interest. Then have a financial power and a health care power and also think about whether any long-term care planning needs to be done. And what about asset protection? Do you expect this to be a concern? Yeah, asset protection is often a big issue for farmers and ranchers. Uh, nobody wants to be the person that loses the century farm because of a liability event. But make sure any planning, uh, such as the creation, creation of asset protection trusts or entities, are done before any liability event occurs. That's absolutely critical. Roger, any final advice that you'd like to pass along? Yeah, getting started is the key. Uh, no one knows how much sand is left in the top of their hourglass. And so kind of keep that in mind and uh, look at what you need to get done and get and get started. All right, Roger, as always, thanks for your insight here this morning. Roger McGowan, he's with Washburn School of Law on, connecting with us today. Go online to washburnlaw.edu for more information. Roger, again, thanks for your time.